Hey everyone, Team Media here for more Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. We're with the Jubsy, but Jubsy's currently going off to do something. I gotta remember my way back now. Give me back my pull up so I get a sword and cut you. What? Hi, Kate. <laughs> How is the Kate today? Ah. <laughs> Yay! Critical! Oh, never mind. No critical. I ended up phone ended up speaking reading. Oh. It, it was my brother calling. I had to answer. I see. I actually thought something bad happened. Did, did no. it hijack an airliner? No. <laughs> Dinner's ready now. Okay, see you later, Kate. <laughs> ah, we came and went. That's just the wind. And it, does, and it doesn't appear I missed much. The more of these guys still try to uh, put up a resistance. Yeah. Oh, dang it, Olivier. Every character in this game is prone to missing, except probably Shara, at least less. Or at least he's less likely to miss. But everybody's missed. Joshua's already missed the most. <laughs> yeah. Josh is like eons ahead of the, the missed competition here. But, he can make up for it. I swear if he missed this, I am going to... Okay, good. <laughs> Rip them. Rip a row. Wow. wow, you're getting a heck of a lot of fire stuff here. Yush. <laughs> Which is good, because it's the one I've got the least of. I like how the bodies are just kind of lined up against the wall. <laughs> Shara will be back for them later. I'm just gonna trigger it myself so it doesn't chase me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. This way. Wait, did I get turned around? No, I don't think so. Well, I think the whole focus is to try to go back up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I went upstairs, so I, I should I should be going the right way. Yeah, and I admit you already encountered more guys as well, so that should be. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Trying to shield your masters to the bitter end, huh? Though that though it's a ridiculous thing to do, your spirit is admirable. And I wonder if being them in the ground might be a way to honor their sacrifice. Let's take them down and get more Sabbath. See, More dang, you're standing in a line, but Josh isn't in the right spot. Ah, well. Do some fire for once, I guess. Nah, I'll just double cut. Get cut, son. Violence. The little ICTV suits are not gonna be enough. <laughs> Hurricane's not really doing that much, I don't know. Eh. Come on! I'll do this instead. Too bad morale isn't like the good the good inspire that <laughs> revives. Oh, well, rip one. Yush. Ooh, wow, that did awesome. That's some good damage. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see, two more of these guys, and uh, yeah, you're pretty much good on that one. Josh! Critical! Alright, put, put them both. Wow. Dang! <laughs> Wait, that guy is Four HP. <laughs> he really should not have survived. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Sabbath. Got poison. Ooh, let's drink it. Wait, drink it? <laughs> Got poison, let's drink it? <laughs> yes. Don't ruin my fun. No, okay. Oh, wow, Josh is way more beat up than that. Oh, okay. I love how I save after doing, like, one thing in this game. You know, I wonder if some of the blank rooms have... No, okay. Nope, a room is just a room. <laughs> Didn't 744 teach you that? Oh. Hey, Frog Stomp. Yeah, plenty of keys in that there dungeon. Oh! Huh? Oh. What's uh, this? I see the royal army is here. How'd the army find out, find out about this place? That liar! Things weren't supposed to go down like this! Hey, get your dirty mitts off of me! Hey, what's going on here? So those are the ringleaders of the Sky Bandits. I'm surprised there's such a young woman, too. How about you shut your yap and start taking some good pictures? What are the chances of getting another scoop like this? So how about it now? Is this enough to help you write a decent article? You bet it is! I'm really grateful that you took us along. Oh, and wouldn't you mind if we took a picture of you while you're at it? Hmm, what do you think, General Morgan? Do as you like. This plan was successful thanks to your genius. In all honesty, this is truly something to boast about. No, this is just a result of the accuracy of the intelligence the business analysis. And thanks to the cooperation of those standing over those of you standing over there. What? Oh boy, time for brace of hate. <laughs> um, what are you guys? I mean, how the heck? What's going on exactly? It's you kids again. Hey, look, it's Estelle and Joshua. Racist! Why are you here? Just for the record, I'll tell you, we infiltrated this place one step ahead of you, again, and the entire hideout has been subdued. We chased the fling Sky Bandit leaders up this way, but I never would have guessed the Royal Army's patrol ships would be waiting. Uh, once again, you've overstepped your bounds. With all due respect, Jim. It was all because of them that our military strikes saw this level of success. Therefore, shouldn't we in turn recognize their achievements? Mm. Do as you wish. I'll leave the rest up to your discretion. I'll return this I'll return to the ship and see that the information I can get out of these and see what information I can get out of these sky bandits. English. Very well, Jim. It's the Payday Gang! <laughs> that old man's as stubborn as ever. He's not a bad person. He, he just lacks a little flexibility. That aside, where are the other Sky Bandits and the hostages? The other lackeys should be lying all over the place unconscious. And as for the hostages, we have them waiting in the same room they were imprisoned in. I see. You have done this nation a great service. Please leave the transportation of the hostages and cargo to us. Let's move, Captain, Captain Amalthea. Yes, Coronier. Ah, wait for me, Colonel! I'd really like to interview you kids, but this time, the Colonel is top priority. Well, if we have another opportunity, I'd appreciate doing one with you too. See you later, Estelle, Joshua. Josh! We get a free airship now? No, okay. My, my, my. You had your whole shining moment. Uprooted. It's stolen, just like that. 
You got that right. Don't let it bother you, Estelle. The Bracer's role has always been that of the unsung hero, so there's no real need for us to stand out. That sounds about right, yeah. Dad always made a point of staying in the background, too. Really? I never noticed. Ah, where is Dad? Hmm, I guess that's one problem we've still got to figure out. Where's Dad now? What is he doing? What clothes are he wearing? And why hasn't he tried to contact us? <laughs> it looks like there's nothing else left for us to do here. In the meantime, let's get back to Bose and report what happened with the incident. We'll try and figure out what to do about your dad after that. I really appreciate all your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew that you would come through and bring closure to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with all the glory, so I don't know if we could exactly save that we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been there, I don't know if the army's raid would have been so su successful. Zexel. <laughs> Dawn Thousand. Oh, crap, we can actually make that work. Anyway, backed into a corner as they were. The Sky Bandits may have well have harmed the hostages. Agree! Everything worked out because you infiltrated the hideout and took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of what you've done. You really think so? Dee -hee. It's true that the hostages were freed and the Sky Bandits arrested, but it's a bit vexing to know there are still some unanswered questions left. The men who appeared at the Valley or Lake Shoal and the mystifying attitude of the leader of the Sky Bandits. I think we should consider that there's a lot behind this incident that we don't really know about. I guess we'll just have to leave that part up to the Royal Army to figure out. With all the culprits being detained by them, there's not really much we can... There's not really much left we can do. Anyway, we should just be glad all the hostages came back safe. Thanks to the news about the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning to normal here in town. As a token of my thanks, I've added a bit of a bonus to your reward. Really? Are you okay with that? Ha! Of course I am. I'm rich. I'd like to thank you too, Olivier. Ha! I just hope my work was worth the price of that grand sword and aid. Yes, in fact, there was change to spare. I hope you'll have a wonderful day, and if anything else comes up, I'd greatly appreciate your help again. Good day. Wow, nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if the incident had gone on any longer, it would have caused much more confusion. It's probably only natural that the Maz is happy as she is. Ha, huh, now I'm starting to feel all giddy inside. I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her work helped out a bunch of other people. Hmm, if you say so. But I think it's safe to say you're no longer Greenhorns. Honestly, the two of you really surprised me this time. You think so? At any rate, please accept your assessment and pay for clearing up the incident. Okay, Rao, good night. Eight thousand. Here's the pay the mayor was talking about. It's a very, very nice sum. And this is for me. Ooh. Is this a recommendation from the Bows branch? Is it alright to give this to us so soon? Of course! It would be downright rude for me not to recommend you after resolving such a big incident. Please accept it. Thank you, Legron. We'll work hard so that we don't bring any embarrassment on this recommendation. Ha, huh, great work, you two. I'm sure your father would be extremely pleased if he heard the news. Sure. You're probably right. I wonder what on earth Cassius could be doing right now. He's the villain! Ah, oh, okay. Not contacting the guild is one thing, but not contacting his family is a completely different matter! Yeah, it's definitely not like him. After he suddenly disembarked from the airliner in Bose, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please. Oh. Aren't you that receptionist from the landing port? What's the matter? You see, we recovered some of the cargo stolen by the Sky Bandits, and among, of, among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild. So I'm here to deliver one of them today. I appreciate you doing that. But wait a minute. Why is there something of doing I mean adjust to this branch when the airliner left Bose to begin with? Because it's from Cassius! Why do these characters know nothing? It's actually adjusted. Rolling branch, okay. But aren't Cassius Bright's family members here? Whoa! That's us, but... Oh, perfect! We contacted the Roland branch and they said you'd come here. Here you are, this is the parcel. I'm dead. Now, okay. This letter. Yep, it's in Dad's handwriting. It's addressed to Joshua and I at the Roland branch. 
It seems as if he just scribbled it out before he got off the airliner. I guess Dad did intend on getting in contact with us after all. Oh, well that's good to hear. So that parcel's from your dad too? No, this one looks like it was sent to my dad by someone else. Huh? That's odd. Yeah, the sender hasn't written a name anywhere. Okay, my business here's done, so I'll be on my way. Plot's too important for a character like me. Oh, one other thing. Good job in helping arrest those sky bands. You bracers sure do excellent work. You're not a bad guy in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> and to think, a clue about your father would be mixed in with that cargo's air I mean, with the airliner's cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read this read this letter if you like. <laughs> use the lounge, okay. Thanks, Legron. Ha! Huh. Well then, let's take a look at the content, shall we? Um. Do you mind telling us what you're still doing here? It's just plain and simple curiosity, that's all. Why did your father disembark the airline prior to its departure? Were I forced to wait around for an answer, the question would stick to my mind, so I'd never be able to sleep at night. And you're telling me this because? Oh, how heartless and cruel can you be to a companion who has traveled alongside you? And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Sky Bandit's hideout, I wonder? Alright, already. You can be a rather obnoxious fellow, I hope you know. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Uh, but depending on the content, we might just have to ask you to leave, okay? Huh, of course, I understand. Alright, let's hear what he has to say. Cut the letter seal! Uh-oh. Who did the father's voice? Oh, uh, Cleon. Dear Stalin Joshua, I'm sure you've probably finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm also sure there are many things you'll have trouble with in the beginning, but take each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, it turns out I've had a little trouble with my own work. And unfortunately, it looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like they did, but you should be grown up enough to not be lonely while I'm away. So until I get back, I'll leave it up to the both of you to decide how you want to live. You're free to continue working in Roland, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Your 16th year is a vintage time in your life, so make sure not to waste it. Please give my regards to Sherazad and Aina. Cassius Bright. Cleon! No, okay. That seems like the type of letter your father would write. It touches lightly on things, but it's full of consideration toward the both of you. Yeah, it looks that way. Hmm, the Queen's birthday celebration, is it? From what I've heard, that's still a ways off. Yep, it's about two or three months away, which means this would be the perfect time to take a small trip. I really wonder where your father is and what he's up to. Forget about that and let's focus on what's in that package. With an unknown sender, there's bound to be something interesting on that table. S uh, severed arm. It's something inside. <laughs> To be honest, I'm pretty curious myself, but sh we shouldn't be opening things addressed to my dad. Why don't you think of it this way? It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, don't you know? That's true. Olivier, don't coax Estelle into doing something to satisfy your own curiosity. Actually, though, Olivier does have a good point. Instead of leaving it until our dad comes home, it might be worth looking into. Okay, let's check it out. Open the parcel. Side is a shiny black hemispherical device. Also enclosed with a single memo with the item. What's this supposed to be? It's an old mint! Now I'm not sure what it's useful! Let's see what the memo says. I was able to- I don't know whose voice this is supposed to be. I was able to secure the item- I was able to secure the item the Air Force said group was carrying, so please take care of it. Please ask Professor R to do an analysis of it when you find an opportunity. K. Okay. That's it? Yep. Looks like the Senate didn't write anything else. Shara, do you have any idea who K or Professor R might be? Um, I hate to say this, but I don't have a clue for either. Your father is pretty well known, so there's a possibility these people could be foreigners too. This is the only thing we've got to go on that honestly I'm about ready to throw in the towel. What the heck is this black ornament anyway? From the shape of it alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to a battle ornament. Even so, it's still quite different. A normal battle ornament has slots in which to install quartz, but this one has none. Maybe this one is an artifact. An artifact? Precisely. 
An artifact is an augment created by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are the models for all augments produced this that produced today. Wow! Shut up, timer. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy.